Brian's team three and a half games back for that final wild card heading into today's game with the deadline, obviously at, at 6 p.m. today. What was the thought process heading into the deadline with the way they had been playing and where they are in the standing? Well, you, you'd rather be obviously in a more defined spot where he'd be three and a half games up in the postseason or, you know, or 10 games back, you know, give you a better, clearer picture, but that's not where we've put ourselves. So, you know, we kind of approach this deadline, <clears throat> which is not, you know, been the last few days, but over the last, you know, coming weeks, especially where we were kind of driving on a lot of different lanes, listening to opportunities. So uh, being opportunistic buyers, if anything <clears throat> made sense and, and certainly opportunistic sellers. So, um, and as we got out of the gate a little bit here in, in the um, second half with the struggles, you know, the frustration of how we played recently, it became more cautious buyers. You know, when we were kind of staying in touch with everybody, there was a lot of clubs we were heavily discussing things with um, that I think their intentions were potentially sellers. Their teams got hot. They became buyers. So, you know, there's a lot of different changes in the marketplace. It wasn't a, uh, I'd say it wasn't a deep um, trade deadline in terms of options, um, you know, the, uh, so you know, navigating it wasn't easy, but we were open-minded to a lot of different things and we stayed engaged, uh, you know, every step of the way, but, you know, it felt when the dust settled, um, no one was able to pry anything away from us that we felt was more valuable than, than where we're sitting in the standings at three and a half games out still and having a chance to find a way to get it together and take a shot. How would you define this team's direction for the rest of the season? Uh, obviously, we're we're in it to win it. So you know, you know, we stayed the course uh, because of that. Uh, you know, obviously, we've got Nestor coming back as well as Loizaga soon, and and you know, we know that we have, you know, we have better baseball in us, although we haven't shown that and proven that. But we've got two more months to show that now. Um, so ultimately, uh, reinforced a little bit of the pen, you know, with the Middleton acquisition and. Uh, there was a des designation of assignment, you know, last second out of Texas, so we grabbed Spencer Howard real quick, um, an option with Scranton. You know, certainly we you know, we were aggressively trying to do more um, and be open-minded to a lot of things coming our way, but when the dust settled, this is obviously we stayed the course with what we had because we felt, felt that given the options that were available coming our way uh, or the options that we were unable to secure, um, this was the best play for us with the team we had that, uh, you know, we still are within, you know, striking distance and, uh, let's try to find a way to figure our way through it and, and get ourselves in and see what we can do if we can get there. It's been an extended sample now of not being a better team or as good as you guys had hoped to be. What makes you think it can be turned around in these last few months? Well, I mean, I do think we do have the talent and we do have the capabilities. Uh, saying it is one thing. I know watching it lately hasn't been anything close to what you'd feel comfortable with. Uh, but we had to measure that with, again, what the ultimately options that were presented to us on, you know, I know I'm sure some people out there, you know, tear it down, sell, and other people are out there, add something big. Well, I couldn't add, there wasn't a big thing to add, and, and um, to be quite honest, and then, uh, you know, that was going to solve the immediate problems that we have. And then, um, and then in terms of the sell stuff that, you know, there's certainly a lot of players here that are talented, that, playoff teams would like to get their hands on, but in terms of what trying to pry that away from us, it wasn't really worth it. You know, it was like, oh, I'd rather just keep it and take a shot, you know, to be quite honest. And, uh, and so I stayed in, in, engaged every step of the way with our owner. Um, and, uh, you know, you certainly, you know, you kind of assess the marketplace and what's presenting it, presenting themselves to you and, and you make individual decisions as they, you know, come along. Um, so we're going to obviously finish this off and see where it takes us. Do you regret not coming into the season with a more established left fielder? And, and was that one position that you were trying to upgrade? It's been one that we've tried to upgrade, um, getting your hands on it with, with, uh, has been what the, is the more challenging aspect of it. So what's been available, you know, uh, from the winter time, you know, with, uh, the decisions we made within the budgets that we had. And you know, obviously I think this is our highest payroll we've had, um, is, 
you know, that's what we had to show for it. And, there, you know, we couldn't push through any further uh, unless we were able to subtract a significant amount to add a significant amount. So, so we relied on the kids, you know, went, went, went with the competition going into spring training and, and uh, it's led us to where we're at right now. And uh, hopefully Jake Bowers continues to swing it for us a little bit there. And, and then maybe Pereira pushes his way up the mix and who knows if Cabrera resuscitates for us, you know, in the 2023 season, but we, had, we believe in him as a, as a player and his ceiling is higher. And um, so, but yeah, of course I'd like to have any void that's currently a void filled and any area that's an area of weakness filled in, we have certain established players playing in certain areas right now that that we're supposed to be, you know, that, you know, excelling, and it hasn't happened either. So it's just a tough, you know, uh, run for us this year in, in a lot of categories. Since yeah. you couldn't get any some, any of the other big names, what made the two two people that you got appealing? Well, it's just more of a lot of conversations that you had with a lot of people. Um, you know, it, there's so many different permutations that were playing out. And, you know, listen, if, if this happens, if that happens, you know, it's kind of like if the wind blows this way, like that, this conversation, you know, looks like it, it leads you into good spots. But, you know, you, you do your touch points with all the clubs, have a lot of dialogue. You know, for instance, in the Middleton uh, situation, you know, has been something we were on him as a six-year minor league free agent. He went to Chicago. They did a great job with him. He's pitched well for them. And so we've stayed in touch with the White Sox when they started to dismantle. And uh, so he is one of the many names we discussed with them. And, and so once we got a feel for what the price point was there, uh, we were comfortable taking it down. Um, but you go the other extreme, which is all the conversations you lead that don't get you anywhere. You know, you know, there's a lot of players that are attracted to you out there that, that could fit, that could help, but you couldn't match up. And, you know, so, you know, that is life. Cash, what do you think the limitations – uh, on roster building and, and the decisions you made that have led to this position where you're sort of hoping to get things going in the next couple of months. I mean, I'm not sure, but the, I'm not sure if I understand your question. So we're here because we've played poorly. Um, we've underperformed in some cases and had some bad injuries, and and uh, and that's why we're where we're at right now. Um, you know, we were counting on more. So if those are decisions that fall on me, they're on me um, for the roster and, and who they are. Uh, certainly counting on on better play and and less injuries but you know we got the combination that's put us in the position of three and a half games back but we got two months to to do something about that and and we're going to find out